Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the today's vlog. So today's uh, vlog is more uh, talking about procrastination and probably how you can you know kind of take care of it or avoid it as much as possible. So uh, first of all, uh, procrastinators or procrastination is just kind of you know delaying something, delaying doing something. Although uh, sometimes people do confuse it with laziness or lazy people, but procrastinators are not lazy people, right? I mean. Lazy people just don't want to do anything. They don't. They lack the complete willingness to do something. But procrastinators have the willingness to do it. But it's just that they don't have the energy to do that. Or at times, let's say they don't think, uh, you know, that might not be that important. So, uh, you know, I mean, I'll just give an example to make uh, understand better. So let's say um, I want to file the IT return, and the last deadline deadline was July thirty first, right? And I knew it. I kept on seeing a lot of posts in different social media and also on news articles that the last day July 31. So I kept on thinking that's on July 10th that I'll gonna file the IT return in next five days or so. And I think it every day, maybe tomorrow I'll file the return. It's not that a very, you know, it's a very huge task that uh, I thought, okay, anyway, I'll do it. So I was delaying it, delaying it, delaying it, okay. And it was taking me seven, 10 days. Maybe because I was not so interested to do it. Sometimes paperwork and official work really, uh, you know, sometimes it just doesn't excite me that much. But it was very important see and i had the willingness also to do it so i realized after uh, seven or ten days or so i realized that it's getting on the last day i am now i have to do it anyways so sometimes we have that mental makeup also right uh, that okay certain things and office work also sometimes it happens you know unless and until boss gives you a pressure that you don't feel like doing it or you like i'll do it in the last time efficiency is high or it will happen the best in the last um, five or six days. So that is again also procrastinator. What, what I mean is that you have the time, you have the project, you know the project deadline, but you work, uh, you wait till the end of last seven days because you know because under pressure you will do better. So that's probably not the right approach, um, you know, towards uh, achieving your goal or, uh, you know, making things happen. So sometimes it's also important, so it's important that you become proactive, right? Also, you need to have every let's say little shorter to-do list because when you have one thing we're gonna do that, do this. Eventually, you skip up things, skip many things, and maybe we skip things which are a little tougher to do as well. So procrastination could be because of many reasons. I'll uh, today's vlog I'll exclusively discuss uh, why and and which situations people procrastinate. Uh, is it something which happens, which could happen to anyone, and how you can actually you know ensure that you don't uh, procrastinate. Uh, much I mean uh, at least you reduce your procrastination and be more proactive in certain areas so I'll discuss it further with my wife uh, more about procrastination hi Jagrati hello how are you fine how are you I'm good I'm good so today uh, for today's vlog we'll discuss more on procrastination okay so I hope you understand what is procrastination uh, yes, uh, it is about uh, suppose I have to complete one task within a time so, but I think that I will do what or some other work, I, I will complete my uh, some other work. But those works are not important, but I will forget to complete the important work. That is like the procrastination. Yes, I mean, basically, uh, procrastination is something which, uh, you know, we kind of leave out. Yes. We will decide that, okay, we will do it later. Yes. But at times, we just don't do it, or we do it after the deadline has happened. The same thing happened with me with filing my IT tax return. Uh, so I have an experience. I have, I have shared that in the vlog as well. But share me your uh, experience. You have had. So I think I did such kind of the procrastination so many times. But uh, I remember two three points. So one is that during my PhD. So uh, our so for if you want to submit the review paper, so there is a deadline. Okay. So uh, for submitting review paper, I have to ask my supervisor. They will review first. They will write the comments. After that, I have to submit to reviewer. So, uh, but the date was coming. So uh, I remember that uh, uh, date is uh, date was coming. Date is coming. I have to remind my guide to complete the task. But I thought uh, guide will do. Uh, it, uh, time is there. I will do also. I will remind that, that in this way the day the day come. So the guide uh, me uh, I and me and guide both are forward this thing. So what do you do? What do you do? So I was uh, thinking that okay, uh, so this is the last. This was the last time. So this was the. This was related to my first paper in my uh, PhD. So what I will do? So I have to 
uh, I have written uh, one request letter to uh, the reviewer. So he extended, but it, it, was, it, is, it was not required. It, it, was, I, a pain, right? uh, it was a pain, right? It was a pain. If I didn't time, it was not required. So another thing is that this is the one point, and another point uh, when I was working at Chandigarh University, the the uh, one word is there that is the neck uh, word. So I have completed my words, but uh, some words are there. But I can I want I don't want to do that word. I think uh, my colleagues uh, they will do what I do. So I have completed my duties. But uh, in that, this is one group work. So it's, my, it's also my duty to complete an uh, entire task, but I didn't complete. So, so after that, my uh, head, he, she told me why I, did not, I didn't complete this thing. So that is the procrastination. So that is sometimes, yeah, sometimes it's a kind of impression. You mm -hmm. need this thing, impression is hard. So yes. people yes. take you for granted that she might not do it also. also yes. right? That's always sometimes great things. Yeah. I'm not saying always procrastination is bad. Okay, tell me one thing first. Do you think procrastination is laziness? Uh, I really think so. It is not like laziness. Laziness, I will not do any work. So though it is, this work is important, but I will not do. Mm -hmm. uh, but procrastination, I will do. I will do after some time. In this uh, one day, I will forget. I will but, forget this. So, so what I understand is laziness is something they don't have a willingness to do it. Yes. But procrastination, they have a willingness to do, uh -huh. but because they don't, don't you know, get the strength. We are focusing on other work, those are not much important. That's why we have separated out this thing. Right. Important thing. Right, right. So sometimes, or, okay, you say one thing important works you do first. But sometimes also happens that those works are also important, but people procrastinate also because some, some of them are tough. Right. They don't know how to handle this, or they don't want to think how to handle that work. All that is important. Yes, yes. You understand what I mean? If That's you it. have lots of work, then you have to come to the lots of work within a few uh, minutes. You, you will not understand which work is the important and which work have to complete it. First, which will be the even priority, first priority right. to complete the task. It's important to prioritize. Uh -huh. So that's, that's um, I think there are many aspects of like why people procrastinate. Sometimes some things are very tough, so just get it out. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're not interested in it, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, do you suggest, do you have, do you think there are certain things people can do to avoid procrastination? So make a list, you have to make a list uh, from today what are the tasks you have to complete. So you have to uh, give a point uh, by priority wise. Right. Uh, in this way you can do and so, more you have any tasks, so okay. you have to uh, so many things you have to make to punch it is also there, you have to mm -hmm. discipline and so now it. that's fine. But now if I say if you have a 40 or 50 to do list for tomorrow, do you think it's possible to really finish all of them? Uh, so I think so 42, 40 or 50 rules you cannot complete within mm -hmm. a single day. But I also told you like, you to give a priority. Right. Maybe you don't put such a big to-do list. Mm -hmm. You make a you make a shorter uh, uh, to-do list. Uh, if you are not complete, if any in, in, in a family if anyone wants to do, then you can give with the task to be in one heart to complete the so he can or she yeah. can help. I think there are many techniques uh, which you can you know implement to you know at least to reduce procrastination to some level or get rid of procrastination. I am also trying to practice them, but yeah, I am going to definitely discuss all the techniques in my uh, third part of the blog. But thanks a lot for giving me a valuable suggestion on the last minute. Thank you. Hello everyone, so you would have just heard uh, me and Devrati sp uh, speaking about you know procrastination and uh, she also shared her experience, right? Um, when, when she actually procrastinated and uh, kind of the impact which uh, what had on procrastination so procrastination need not always have a severe impact but it could possibly lead to severe impact and sometimes it becomes a behavior so when it becomes a behavior or a habit it becomes complicated because you know that times people might take you for granted because people just think that you don't take that responsibility or you don't take responsibility seriously and that's not uh, such a good thing uh, when you have that kind of a reputation so uh, I would like to share you certain tips okay uh, I won't call it tricks it's tips to you know kind of uh, avoid procrastination okay so I was also discussing in, in, in the last part that you know um, make it so she was talking about making a to do list to do list right you shouldn't make it so big that you realize that it can't be finished so make a small list uh, according to prioritization you know and try to finish it as, as early as possible
And the next step would be to, if, if it's a big task, sometimes what happens is it's a big task, you think, oh, it's such a big task, how would I even finish it? So the, the best thing to do is, uh, you know, stick, break that big task into small, small chunks of it, right? So one you, once you small, once you finish a small part of the task, reward yourself, okay? Tell yourself, give a pat on the back saying that uh, you have done a good job, maybe have a chocolate or something. And then you realize, okay, this part is done, now next part. So um, don't take, uh, you know, think that, okay, there's so much to do. Make small, small parts and once you finish it, you should be happy about it. So um, so if, if I want to speak of more reasons, also you should think about, uh, you should have an awareness, okay. Now you, this is more psychological or emotional. Why are you actually procrastinating that? I'm sure you're not procrastinating everything. So uh, just figure out what are the reasons you're procrastinating. Is it that you don't like it? Uh, is it your habits and thoughts? Uh, I mean, is it happening every time when you take certain tasks, uh, you are probably just procrastinating those certain kind of tasks. You might not be, uh, you know, as I said in the first part also, I don't at times like filling forms. So whenever there is a come, there is a situation of I have to fill a form, I do it at last. So that that is something you should be very cautious. Okay, from now I delay filling forms. So maybe this is the thing I do first, right? Rather than you know uh, keeping it for the last, I do it first because this is something which I might procrastinate, right? that you know about yourself, self-awareness and also you should assess, right, how do you feel if, if you procrastinate and it, it gets, uh, you know, uh, it get into trouble, so how do you feel, so when you have that, uh, that will help you, you know, uh, to get rid of that. Also, one thing is also important to commit to a task, right, so once you think, okay, I am going to do this part, so let's say you have, you know, 10 part of, 10 parts of work and you decided that okay tomorrow I'm gonna to finish this past two part. Now no matter what, you just have to finish it. Let's say you you maybe uh, can't sleep for seven hours that particular day, but you still decide okay I have to still uh, finish that. Maybe I sleep less one hour or I don't go out with friends that day. But I have to commit to that. So that commitment is very important because I think uh, procrastination at times has have severe impact. Right? It times at times lead to high level of stress right you think that okay now i'm going to procrastinate because in and in back in your mind you sometimes now realize okay okay now i'm going to procrastinate on this anyways and that kind of create problems because the deadlines are coming so uh, this is sometimes also your impact relationship with friends and family because they also of, of course they also expect something right and, and they give you a task or responsibility they expect you to do it on time but if you don't then you somehow uh, you know sort of say screw up the relationships with friends and family so there are certain impacts uh, you know we will have when you procrastinate but need not necessarily to say it's at times uh, you know at times it's also good to procrastinate a bit because at times if you maybe think a bit more you know at times you have to discuss brainstorm a little bit more you should think more at times it's not always okay i have to finish it tomorrow if it is something critical then you must take a step back and think more on this and then take a step you know, if it's a very important critical step, it's not always you have to, uh, it depends on the task. So at times procrastination could also be useful when it's a very important critical thing. You should think, maybe discuss with friends and family also, but then uh, you need to finish it before deadline anyway. So yeah, so it depends on the situation, but by and large procrastination is, is not a, a good habit. But as I discussed, there are certain things which you can do to, you know, at least, uh, you know, get rid of this. Thank you. See you in the next vlog.